kind of bluish. It's kind of a semicircle, and the top is kind of reddish. It sounds like something from the X-Files. The very first one was kind of a creamy white. People claim they have strings, not hairs, but strings growing out of their skin. It's all a system. They're all connected together. They're just these awful little black things that intertwine. There is this black spot back here. Doctors and nurses can't believe what they're seeing. They're blue, they're red, uh, they sometimes move, which is really bizarre. This didn't seem like anything I had ever seen that was coming out of a human body. I mean, this is a mystery. That's, it really is. The mystery starts here in West Texas. Good boy. Put your nose in there. Rancher Carol Arledge was one of the first people to see white fibers and black specks popping out of her skin. She went to her dermatologist. She said, I can't believe you did this to yourself. And I was like, I didn't. And I said, well, do you want me to come back if it doesn't get better? She said, no. If it doesn't get better, you need to find a psychiatrist. So did Carol Arledge do this to herself? She says no. You still got some little bit of active lesions there. And did Marnie Winky scratch these sores into her own face? She also says no. Carol, Marnie, and thousands of others from various parts of the country complain of similar ailments. They say it feels like something's crawling beneath their skin and that they're sick and exhausted. The patients call it Morgellons disease. On websites, people post pictures they say prove it's a real illness. Now, even the Centers for Disease Control is looking into it. See, these lesions on your head, just so I can clarify this. Nurse practitioner Ginger Savely was one of the first people to treat Morgellons patients. That's not from you gouging oh, or no, scratching. No. You know that all of this sounds kind of crazy. Yes, but I, I know what I see with my own eyes. She works with Dr. Raphael Stricker, who says it reminds him of another disease he treated as a young physician. I was in uh, New York at the beginning of the AIDS epidemic when we started seeing all these gay men and drug users with these weird infections, and nobody had a clue what it was. The mystery of Morgellon soon caught the attention of a Tulsa, Oklahoma researcher, Dr. Randy Wymore. His search began here. There's a lovely red. He wondered, could the fibers in the skin simply have rubbed off of people's clothing. Here's a nice blue material that probably will have some loose fibers that can be pulled off with scotch tape. When you took all of these clothing fibers and put them underneath the microscope, did it look like the fibers underneath the skin of the Morgellons patients? No, not at all. Totally different. Satisfied the fibers weren't textiles, Dr. Wymore consulted with colleagues at Oklahoma State University. I didn't know what to think at first. Uh, I, uh, of course, did a little research. I will admit that um, at first I was a little skeptical. Doctors Rhonda Casey and Steve Eddy agreed to see Morgellons patients. That is definitely not a hair, the blue thing there. I'm going to get that. I'd like four steps in a slide. We were there one day when they brought in four patients. I'm going to see if I can get the little purple looking thing. Extracted fibers from under their skin. I oh, got it. Made slides and looked at them under a microscope. Oh, it's red. Actually, it's red and blue. And this is what they saw. Black, red, and blue fibers lurking under the skin. Now they've seen about 25 patients, and the OSU doctors are convinced Morgellons is real. But the medical establishment says they are wrong. Morgellons is not real. Dr. Noah Scheinfeld is assistant professor of dermatology at Columbia University. So this is all in their heads? It's all in their heads. This is somebody who's picking at themselves. And people can pick at themselves for all kinds of reasons. But how does he explain the fibers? Dr. Scheinfeld says once the patients create a sore, they shove fibers into it. There was absolutely nothing on the surface there. But the OSU doctors say that's impossible. They say they found most of the fibers away from the sores, under unbroken, smooth oh, skin. Still, no matter who you believe, there was one question no one here could answer for us. You've looked at these fibers under the microscope. What do you think they are? Oh, I have absolutely no clue. But Dr. Vitaly Satovsky thinks he might know. We take this piece of skin and then we extract genes from them. 
This biologist at SUNY Stony Brook says he found a gene that only exists in plants inside the skin of the Morgellons patients. Many of the people who claim to have Morgellons have spent time working in the soil. Do you think in a couple of years you might be eating your words, maybe research will show you're wrong? In this case, I don't think so. I would challenge any of these physicians who think that we are just feeding into the delusions to um, come and examine a group of these patients and um, see what I've seen. Delusion or disease, the threads of this argument continue on. Elizabeth Cohen, CNN, Tulsa, Oklahoma.